Let's go to the tail of the tape for this heavyweight contest between Kimbo Slice and Bo Cantrell. Slice is two years older than Cantrell. They're the same height, relatively, well, three pound weight difference. And of course, Slice with a brawling background. Bo Cantrell, a kickboxer, Muay Thai. Expect a stand up war. After all, that's what the people came to see. Let's now take you to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet two inches, he weighed in at 235 pounds. He is a pit fighter who represents the disciplines of kickboxing and Muay Thai with a record of 10 wins, 10 losses, with six of his wins coming by way of knockout and four by submission. Representing Team Marinoble, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former Gladiator Challenge heavyweight champion from Sacramento, California, known as Red Rum, Bo Cantrell. And his opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner, Standing six feet, two inches, he weighed in at 238 pounds. This longtime popular street fighter is described as a brawler who tonight makes his official MMA debut. Representing Team Kimbo, fighting under the tutelage of Boss Rutan from Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the heavy-handed phenom, the popular legend and street fighting star Ladies and gentlemen, here is the one and only Kimbo Slice! And once again, our referee in charge, Steve Armstrong, now to give instructions. Gentlemen, you received instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Touch gloves and good luck. There have been people in the media who maligned Elite XC for bringing in what some of them call a glorified street fighter. Stephen Bill, listen to the crowd in attendance. He has matched himself up with Boss Rune. I've had a chance to visit with Kimbo Slice. This man means business. He is in it to win it. Bo Cantrell, taking the fight on short notice, will be looking to shock the world. There's a lot more to Kimbo than people think. And this heavyweight contest is underway. Cantrell firing off a spinning back fist immediately. Kimbo hunting him down right now. Remember, Bill, you said that Kimbo would come in calm, cool, and collected. Already a body oh. shot ripping away at Cantrell. Oh, yeah. This one is over Woo. before it even begins. Kimbo took care of business right away. This guy can hit. Slice dropping Cantrell like names at a Hollywood party. And this guy is destined for stardom in mixed martial arts. Kimbo Slice has arrived. Wow, that's got to be some kind of a record. At just 19 seconds of the opening round, Kimbo Slice cold cocks Bo Cantrell, and Slice is on the map. 19 seconds, Professor. One thing I like, Morrow, is the fact that Kimbo came out relaxed like he already had 20 MMA fights like his opponent did. He hunted him down and dropped the hammer, and that was all she wrote. The crowd came to see fireworks. They got it. Kimbo Slice making short work of a game, and let's, again, give some respect to Bo Cantrell taking the fight on very short notice after Mike Bork suffered an injury in training. Boss Root, a very happy man. And, uh, you know, I could think of a lot worse individuals to have in your corner. Boss Root, really the trainer of champions, and Kimbo Slice, Kevin Ferguson, has won his mixed martial arts debut here on Showtime. There's not much that Boss Rutan does not know about the game. 
And with a guy like Kimbo coming in, he's not going to try and overcomplicate things. He's only going to want to make what Kimbo already does better. And what we saw is basically what Kimbo always does, come out there and punch people out. I didn't expect to see a Gogo Plata in his MMA debut, Stephen. <laughs> it happened so quickly that I think that there's got to be there's got to be a lot of relief. Endearing himself to the Texans here in Corpus Christi. And here's a whole fight here in uh, Cantrell with that wild spinning back fist, which missed. Kimball hunting him down, picking his shot, eats the low kick, no problem. But look at this uppercut to the body and the right hand behind the ear was what sent it down and he tapped out. Man, it was right behind the ear with that right hand. And that must have been a crushing shot. Cantrell really thought, man, what hit me? Here it is again. You see that right uppercut. It was nice and tight, too. He didn't wing that punch. It was a beautiful body shot as well to set it up. It was almost a half punch, half forearm, and that and he just blasted away. And Cantola had enough, man. He, boy, he thought, man, that was a jackhammer punch. Here it is once again. Kimball just hunting him down, literally. Got the body shot, double up on the punches. Man. I'm telling you, man, Kimbo. You think what? The nerves got the bet better with Bo Cantrell as well. Bo Cantrell's not a guy known to just tap out like that. It just seemed like he was overwhelmed by the whole spectacle of this. I don't know. I, I was going to say that Bo Cantrell, looking into Kimbo's eyes, he looked into the eyes of a demon is what he did. All right, let's make it official. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have what? the time. 19 seconds in round number one. A referee in charge, Steve Armstrong, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of TKO in his professional MMA debut, Kimbo Slot.